and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, gifted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa the historic victory achieved by the horse Dahia, who came first in the prestigious Royal Ascot Equestrian Race, saying that the achievement is the true result of His Majesty's support to the horse sport. He said that the achievement is added to other successes achieved by Bahraini horse teams. His Highness also thanked Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum for his support. He pointed out that the race was very difficult because of the presence of a group of skilled and international riders, adding that the efforts have translated into reality. His Highness wished further achievements for the Bahraini horse racing team in upcoming events. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Sabah al Dosri, revealed a plan to provide job opportunities the under, the na under the National Employment Program. He highlighted that the project is in cooperation with the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. He added that the plan is for the LMRA to present the accepted jobs to the ministry and choose the appropriate job seeker for the appropriate position and offer them the services needed. Al Dosri added that this cooperation contributed to increased job opportunities. The Representatives Council delegation headed by Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal is taking part in the Women Political Leaders Global Forum which will be held in Tokyo, Japan from June 25th to the 27th. For further discussion on the forum and the related sessions to be reviewed during the summit, we will be joined by Representatives Council member Dr. Sousan Kamal. Hello Dr. Sousan, can you please provide us with more details about the Women Political Leaders Forum? Yes, good evening to you. Uh, well, Bahrain participation in general and uh, Parliament's involvement uh, reflects the importance of parliamentary diplomacy that has significance on um, enhancing, developing and elevating relationships with others in the parliamentarian field. Um, it also extends friendship bridges with other countries of the world and uh, participate effectively in um, drawing up a the future of the world as it faces challenges and developments uh, in all aspects. And can you please tell me how will this forum benefit the Kingdom of Bahrain? Yeah, well, this annual forum uh, is considered as one of the biggest gatherings for female uh, parliamentarians and leaders uh, from across the, uh, the globe. Um, it is an opportunity to showcase achievements and the uh, progress Bahrain has uh, succeeded in political, economic, and social empowerment for women, uh, besides presenting uh, development plans and joint efforts by Parliament uh, with the Supreme Council for Women to elevate Bahraini women and make a pillar partner in the path of uh, renaissance and progress. Um, the, the role of uh, Parliament in enhancing and proving the role of women and her ability to take uh, leadership posts and the 20-year glorious rule of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa uh, will be also highlighted. And uh, the WPL includes core topics that will be uh, debated. Of those are like uh, taking measures to enable society through sustainable development goals, um, women and the role of Asia in the world, um, developing the community through women as uh, political leaders, uh, together with like uh, parliamentarians' role in diversity and uh, comprehensiveness, and the environment and economy, tackling the plastic problem and its effect on marine life, and others, for example, solving problems associated with the climate change and uh, bringing um, a recycling-oriented society to existence, uh, together with like political responsibilities for women, hurdles, barriers, and bridges, and at the conclusion of the event, uh, there will be a declaration detailing uh, future efforts and measures. That is incredible and sounds very promising for the Kingdom of Bahrain. Representative Council Member Dr. Sousan Kamal, thank you for joining us.